Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Tom Harris. And welcome back. Pretty nice start to our weekend here in the coastal bend. You can see a few of those puffy clouds kind of rolling on by our weather bug camera uh, brought to you by CCRV. Currently our temperature has dropped off a little bit at 88 degrees. The winds are out of the southeast about 14 miles per hour was a little bit breezy today. Our daytime high 91, but that's still two degrees below average for this time of year. The morning low is right on track and as far as any rainfall, nothing reported reported out at the airport. 88 in Rockport, 89 in Beeville, 90 in Alice. Kingsville has a current temperature this hour of 91 degrees, but when you factor in the humidity, those heat index values feel quite a bit warmer than that. Feels like 103 right now here in Corpus Christi, 104 in Falfurious Orange Grove, about 103. Now our peak wind gust today, about 20 to 25 miles per hour. That's right where we're at here in Corpus Christi, 21 in Ingleside, Beeville, about 22 miles per hour. Now the winds are going to taper down tomorrow morning, and that could lead to some inland fog uh, in the early morning hours. Not a whole lot right here in, here in Corpus Christi, but as we go into the afternoon, winds are going to be a little bit stronger on Sunday than they were this afternoon. That'll continue also on Monday. That makes it a little bit more difficult for our beach and boating forecast. Our bays are going to be slightly choppy. Gulf Sea rising a bit to two to four feet. If you're heading out to the beach, there will be a moderate risk of rip currents coming our way tomorrow. Combination radar and satellite imagery. We are just seeing a couple little showers trying to pop up just off to our west. Most of it was out into the Gulf of Mexico today, but we're going to see drier air filtering in. Temperatures going to be warming up for the week ahead. But as we look into Sunday, the strong southeasterly flow, we've got that Saharan dust. Another plume of that is starting to make its way into our area. So we're going to see those hazy conditions a little uh, less uh, with our air quality. So if you've got respiratory problems, definitely uh, watch the outdoors the next couple of days. Future Tracker shows any shower activity we see tomorrow will likely be across parts of the upper Texas coast. Then on Monday, no rain expected in the area. Here's what's happening around the rest of the country. Some big thunderstorms in the Dakotas. We have all this monsoon moisture across the desert southwest. So thunderstorms firing off across parts of the four corners. Also some pretty big thunderstorms across portions of the upper Midwest tonight. Some of these areas just getting hit day after day. Now we do want to talk about subtropical storm barrel. Yes, barrel is back. It strengthened into a subtropical storm today. We'll take a look at the stats on that. It's winds about 40 miles per hour, gusting to 50 miles per hour. And the track of this storm is going to keep it well off to sea. You can see it's uh, just off to the east of Washington, D.C. and New York. It may be providing some high surf along these areas, but that is about it, and it's going to weaken as it gets into colder waters. Here's a look at our forecast for tonight. Partly cloudy, mild. We'll see an overnight low, 78 degrees for tomorrow. Looking for a little warmer temperature. Should get up to about 93. It's also going to be breezy. Winds out of the southeast, 15 to 20 miles per hour. Your seven-day forecast. Forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. Breezy, warmer Sunday and Monday. Then it's just going to be hot and humid with heat index values running anywhere between 105 to 109. So yes, we're going to be stuck in a hot uh, summer-like weather pattern, but the key is the hazy conditions. Remember the last time all that dust came in here? You can see it in the sky. That's what we're expecting again tomorrow. Okay, so something to be prepared for.